So today I'm focused about making things look beautiful. And I think that's a thing that I kind of tried to ignore for a long time because I feel like now it's not very popular to say as a designer, yeah, I make things look beautiful because you're expected to face things like I'm a user experience designer. I make things very useful and I'm, I'm making sure that the business aspect and the conversion rate and the strategy and all of those things because, you know, we're trying to present ourselves as valuable designers, which I'm all for and I'm always thinking about those things. But I kind of think that a little bit we kind of lost touch with with the art and crafts and making things really look beautiful. There was, I heard this great talk by Stefan Segmeister, which I will, I will link in the description below, where he kind of mentioned how important beauty is and that kind of recently, in recent years, we, we were losing it in architecture or, or in design in general because things always try to be so functional that everything looks the same and it's kind of boring. And I feel, you know, I'm designing product, digital product, and I feel that way. You know, all dashboards look the same, all apps look the same because everybody's trying to be you know as simple as possible or as useful as possible but we're kind of losing the magic aspect of it and the reason that i'm thinking about this today was because i'm, I'm looking at prosper our product and we're creating a proposal which should be very functional and, and usable and you know the client only wants to read you know what's the price that you're quoting me but i feel like if it's a little bit more arty and if it's more like beautiful it will help you you know sell yourself better and so i was looking as you know we have this kind of space for header where you can put an image and some users upload an image but a lot of them are leaving it blank and obviously uh me myself when i'm using it sometimes i just leave it as black color or a solid color but i thought this could be a great way to kind of put some art into the app and so today i found these images i found them um kind of these abstract images that are pretty cool they look kind of technical or futuristic and I, I just created a bunch of them uh, to put them kind of as a default so when you create a proposal they will just be popular and of course you can you can change them if you want but I think it gives you a head start and the first time that you're gonna use the app you're gonna see something that looks beautiful um, I think it will really improve you know our, our users uh, experience and so you can say that this is kind of a, a user experience issue but it's not like where you position uh the button or or something like that it's more like a, a feeling experience of a feeling and i also think that when our customers will send this uh to their clients it's going to create kind of a wow effect and so i have this vision right now i chose this uh stock photos i actually got these photos from uh, you work for them which is a website that i use all the time let me show you. They have really, really amazing stuff. They have a great selection of fonts and graphics, and I, f I found the images there. I think they look great. I don't know if everybody will like them. I suppose I can't, you know, get to the style of everybody. But uh, I have this fantasy that when, when we're going to be very successful, I'm going to actually commission an artist to create kind of artistic background for our proposals every month. And that could be really, really a great experience and great added value, I think, for for our customers. But I guess that's a little bit far into the future. But for now, I'm going to use the stove photos. But I'm excited about this. I think it's, it's such a, it's like a mini, mini feature. It's going to take us probably one day to implement this. But I think this can create a difference in how our users feel about our product. And so you can't say that this is user experience design, but I feel like a lot of people are forgetting about this emotional aspect of design and actually just making things look beautiful. All right, that's what I've been doing today. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow.